Here with UIC head cross country coach Ashley Lucas as the Flames prepare to open up the 2018 season this week with a meet at Northern Illinois. Coach, you were uh, about about a year ago at this time, we're kind of just you know freshly thrown into this position and yep. and uh, and new on the scene. But what have you learned over the past year that you've taken to help you know continue to build this program and, and take new steps? Yeah, I think the, the biggest focus for us this past year was just developing the vision and the culture that we want to create here as a newer coaching staff at UIC. Um, so I think it was just a lot of hiccups last year, but not bad hiccups. It was just kind of laying out what the expectations are going to be uh, with the new coaching staff. And I think the biggest thing we learned was who wanted to be a part of that. And the recruiting class that we brought in is full-fledged there, and all the returnees that we bring are that are coming back um, see what our vision is and want it just as bad as we do. Last week you were able to bring the team up to Michigan for a nice trip that combined, you know, training and team bonding and stuff like that. What was, you know, your goal, you know, going into that trip and, mm -hmm. and do you think it was realized? Yeah, I mean, preseason is so big with cross country because as, as much as people view it as an individual sport, you come away with a team score every day. And the closer you are as a team off the course, the closer you are on the course. So a lot of that was, you know, running side by side when we were up there. It was doing just team building activities, learning, because we did bring a pretty decent sized group of freshmen in. So like them just getting to learn the upperclassmen and vice versa. Um, so there was a lot of team bonding, a lot of team workouts um, that they went through and just seeing the, that chemistry already being built is huge. And that was pretty much the goal of the preseason trip. You mentioned you know having a good mix of, of upperclassmen who have kind of bought in as well as the mm -hmm. underclassmen you know on the upperclassmen front who are some of the leaders who have continued to emerge on both the men's and women's teams yeah i mean i would say allison and maddie being the seniors on the women's team are just they're both very charismatic girls um they love doing team bonding with all of the girls so having them lead on the women's side is huge uh, and then on the men's side, you've got Brixton and Zach, and then we bring back Alex Bashkawi as well. So uh, having a good just senior leadership working from the top down is going to be a huge advantage for us. Um, but the upperclassmen are they're rearing to go, and the, the freshmen are just falling right behind them. It's a good segue there. Speaking of the freshmen, who are some of the, the newcomers that are part of the program that you're excited about this Yeah, year? I mean, Josh uh, English, he's the 800 state champ. Um, in Illinois, so he's going to be a great addition um, to the program here just with his, his worth, work ethic and just his tenacity when it comes to racing. So he's huge on the guy's side. Uh, women's side, uh, Abby Flammersfeld from Oswego East has been just fitting in perfectly. Lexi Welton had um, an awesome summer and is a lot stronger than I remember her when I was even just recruiting her. So she's going to be huge. The freshmen have fit right in um, and are just going to add a lot of depth that we kind of lacked last year. So they're they're ready to go. They're they're nervous going into the first race, but are, are really excited to, you know, wear the UIC uniform for the first time. You know, speaking of the first race, Friday coming up at, at Northern Illinois, mm -hmm. what are your uh, expectations or thoughts on that meet? Yeah, it's a lower key meet, um, which I love for our first meet, kind of just getting your spikes back on. Um, learning the nerves of racing again since we haven't for a couple months now and the big thing for both teams is just going to be working together so we kind of have a race plan um, going into the race for both teams and we'll, we'll see how it goes from there um, but just kind of staying as a pack for as long as we can on Friday is going to be kind of the, the team goal. And finally I just want you to finish this sentence. 2018 will be successful for UIC cross country if if we buy in and create the culture that has been given to them.